To make $100,000, you need to be making $8,333 per month. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get there by doing something called UGC. UGC is any sort of video where it looks like a user of the product created the content, hence the term user-generated content. You see a lot of these videos right now working really well in advertisements, which is why it's such a buzz with companies trying to find people to create UGC. The goal is to make the video look like it's somebody that actually is a user of the product. Therefore, when they use it in an advertisement, you'll actually want to consume the content and therefore have a higher chance of purchasing. It's still a very viable business today and will be for the foreseeable future. So I want to show you guys how you can actually get into it and make this money yourself. Step one, before you even get in touch with a company, you want to have something that you create that shows what you do. So I'm going to show you the deck that I have. It doesn't need to be a deck. It could be uh, just a single page that becomes a PDF that you send. But for me, I like to do a deck because it shows it a little bit more in depth. So I just came up with some random name. Barnett Media is what we called ourselves. And in the deck, it talks about what we do, who we are. It was me that was doing all of it, but I would also have Sam in some of the content so I could show them that there'd be a variation of either male being in the content or male and female. So here's something else you guys should know. If you have any sort of a following, you can kind of operate in two ways. We looked at it as front of house and back of house. Front of house would be like you actually posting on your own channel, meaning as an influencer, as a creator, as a whitelist, whatever. And then back of house would be like UGC where you're making the content for the brand to post on their own things. And nobody knows that it's you that's making it because you're not using it on your own account. So front of house and back of house. This is the way that we would pitch. The front of house offerings for us would be like a sponsored campaign, placements and shout outs, some product reviews or demos and lead generation or like hosting a contest or a giveaway because those were a big thing at the time. In this page that you send over, whether it's a deck or whether it's a PDF, you wanna display all of those things that you offer and what the various price points or a single price point, if they're all the same, are. Then for back of house, you have things like UGC, you have things like unboxings, product reviews, or even like more full-fledged video production that could be a little bit higher end. So these are the things that we could pitch. And this was all me doing this. This is all being able to film this and do everything as a single individual filming, producing, editing, and sharing the content with the company. So this is something that you can do too by yourself. Then in your deck or in your PDF, you wanna show some sort of brands that you have worked with or something that you have done in the past. If you have not done anything with anybody in the past, show content that you have created. Add examples of content, show your capabilities. Ideally, what you want them to be able to do is click through all of this thing and by the end of it, feel like, oh, this is the person we wanna go forward with, let's do this. How do we get on a call? Once you have a deck that is done, now you wanna actually start doing outreach. So the two places that I do outreach, number one is through Instagram DM, number two is through email. To get in touch with people through DMs, send DMs that are to the point, show your value, and tell them how they can get in touch. So something like, hey, I see you guys crushing on Instagram, would love to help you guys with user-generated content. I've done it for Therabody, Caraway, and Orgain. Here's a link to more info, much love. Very simple, very quick, very to the point that shows your value because especially these social media managers who is the person that is going to be receiving the DM on the other end of the screen, they're going through 50 to 100 per day. They don't have time to see a whole page and it go, here's my life story and I did this and I was that and I was this and now I'm doing this. No, make it to the point, show them that you have value and they'll read it. And if it's something that they need, they'll actually reply to it. A lot of them, it's just not something that they need right now. So you're not getting rejected. It's just not the right time and right place. But if you prove your value in that single message, show some examples, share a link with some case studies. Now the brand has a reason to hit you back. So the first place is DM. If you're messaging an account and you think that there's no chance they're gonna get back to you because they have hundreds of thousands of followers as a company, or they're just way too flooded or way too big for you, here's a little hack for you. It's called LinkedIn. This is gonna take me into number two, which is sending people emails. You can find the person that is running the social media account or manages the money or works with influencers. You can find all of these people if they have their job title on LinkedIn, just by searching that company and going to the company profile and then looking at the people within the company and searching that job title. So this is a hack that I will do. If I know that the company's too big for me and they're not gonna get back in DM, this is what I do. I'll open up LinkedIn. I'll type in the brand name. For example, let's do Therabody. Go into their brand account, go to people, 
and I'll type in something like influencer marketing. So now if you see that it shows 22 employees in influencer marketing, you can go down and you can click on some of these profiles and in either their about section right here or under their contact info or under their experience, sometimes it'll actually show their email or their social media handles. Like this person's I think was in their contact info, it shows her Twitter. So you can go and search those, or if you don't do that, you can actually search their regular full name on Instagram and go and send them a message. If I'm a social media manager and I'm running the Therabody account and I get a message from somebody that says, yo, I do UGC, I know that you guys are working this, this, and this, and I could crush it for you, here's a link. If it's something that I genuinely would find valuable for our company, I'm not gonna be upset. If you're messaging me so just some random stuff, I might be like, why are you messaging me on my own account? But if it's something that our company will actually find valuable, then yes, I will be like, yo, this is great. I'm glad that I got to see this because it's not lost in the shuffle of our inbox on our main account. So you send them the DM, they look at the deck, they send you a message back, this is interesting. The next thing you wanna do is get on a call with them. When you get on a call with them, you wanna walk them through that ask them their thoughts, ask them what would make it valuable for them. Also on the call with them, you wanna walk through all the different things that you can offer. So when you're going through the deck, you can do UGC, but you can also mention, hey, if you guys have an interest in running this ad through my profile, we can also do whitelisting, and then you guys might get a better conversion rate because it's running through a human being's account. So you can offer different services along with the initial one that might be supplementary. Once you get off the call, what you wanna do is make a single page of ideas. So when I was doing this with Therabody, I actually made them a list of Therabody content ideas. Just a simple document with links to content that I could potentially make. For example, it'd be like something like this that could show the product, could show it in a different way, and I gave them different variations of styles of content for them to potentially want to pick one or two of those, or if they like all of them, now they're picking five of them rather than just picking a couple of them. So you wanna give them a list of ideas. So now you've made the sheet, you send them the list of ideas, they send you back the ones that they wanna work on, and now they're sending you the product for you to actually film with the product. Here's where you get to decide, is it me that's going to be in the content, or is it somebody else? If you're a creator and you like doing it yourself and you're okay with doing it yourself, do it. If you're somebody that wants to really scale this, you might get to a place where you actually have a couple of people that you can go and you can tap to come and help film the content with you, like I have done with my fiance, because if the company is needing somebody that's a female, she can jump in the content and then I can ask her to be a part of it with me. What makes UGC so good is the fact that it actually looks like a regular person bought the product, is using the product, and now cares so much about the product that they want to make a video about it. So a lot of companies, when they send you things, they'll send you a full script, you need to hit this point and this point and this point, and even though they are telling you they want you to hit those points, film a version that comes completely off the cuff where you are literally just like, this is how I would say it if I was saying it to a homie, if I was sending a video to my mom, to my friends, whatever, because that natural, authentic reaction or way that you're saying it is the way that the ad will actually convert the highest. So make a version like that. And when you send them back to the company, say, here's your version. Here's another version that I just threw in there that I thought might be interesting for you. It just is the most authentic way that I would say it. If you guys are interested in it, you guys can have this too. And you guys can upsell them on that where now they might be getting two videos. Before they were gonna get one video for $1,500. Now they're gonna get two videos for 2,000. So now you just made an extra $500 for something that maybe took you five to 10 to 15 minutes. But you really do wanna make the content good for the reason of if you do this well and they like your content, now you might find your, yourself in a place where they wanna bring you on a retainer, which is what happened with me with Therabody, where they tapped me in for another set of these UGC style videos. So I was able to go from making 4,500 one time for three videos to doing it a whole separate time for another additional three videos since they liked the first three. So during the span of the same time, I was able to do Therabody of three videos at $1,500 per video. Then I was able to do Disco, which is a men's skincare company, and I did UGC plus white listing where they're running the videos through my account. That was $2,000 for two videos of Disco and $2,000 for two months of being able to run it through my account. So right there, I was at 4,500 from Therabody and 4,000 from Disco, 8,500 in one month with only two companies. I additionally worked with a supplement company called High Protein Human Improvement, 
which was actually having Sam film a UGC style video for another 1500, which put me at $10,000 in that month. And I say all of that to tell you guys that this was something I was doing on the side of my full time creating and trying to actually build myself as an influencer and a creator. I am highly confident that if this is something that you guys do full time and really want to build and scale, I think that you could really turn this into a real legitimate business if you had more time to spend on it. So in terms of price points, what I think you should start at is a much lower price. The reason I was able to get $1,500 for a video is because I had already shown a lot of success on my own profile. I had done it for some brands for cheaper. That brand had success. So I had case studies to raise my price for you guys if you're starting out I know a lot of creators are charging around 200 bucks a video 300 bucks a video maybe somewhere up to 500 bucks a video but what you really want to do is you want to get yourself in the door start with something execute on it and do a good job with it because then you get asked to do it again and the more you do it and the more it converts the higher your price points can go until you get to a place where you're consistently making you know three four five thousand dollars a month from a company and then you bring on a couple of those companies and now you're at a real legitimate business. The last thing I wanna say with this is don't try and take on too much at the start. Really like perfect your outreach and the way you get in touch with brands and those relationships and try and start small because when you're trying to scale and you're trying to go too fast and you hear this $100,000 number, it's really easy to try and sprint, but when you try and sprint, you end up missing a lot of steps that are actually critical. So start by walking, figure it out as you go. And in time, this can be a real lucrative stream of revenue for you. Much love.